Welcome to the Real-Time Neural Video Decoding Demo, presented by Qualcomm AI Research. Video data is consuming an ever-increasing amount of IP traffic over the internet. Continual growth requires faster advancements in video compression technologies. To meet this demand, we envision that future codecs will have the following desirable features. Direct optimization of bitrate and perceptual distortion, simplified codec development, intrinsic massive parallelism, efficient execution on deployed hardware, and downloadable codec updates. These requirements have motivated the study of neural video codecs, which have potential to provide all these desired features. Specifically, they can share platforms and hardware being developed for other neural network applications and enable much more efficient parallelization of entropy coding. Driven by this potential, there has been active research on neural video codecs over the past few years, showing impressive compression performance and closing the gap to conventional codecs. However, practical deployment of neural video codecs is challenging. Most existing studies use high-end GPUs with floating-point computation, and the neural network models are often not optimized for fast inference. There is uncertainty about practical feasibility and costs to run this inference on mobile devices. In this demo, we target achieving efficient neural video coding on mobile devices. Our approach includes redesigning the network architecture for reduced complexity, quantizing the network for optimal performance on the hardware AI accelerator, exploiting parallel entropy coding, and utilizing Qualcomm's technology innovations. The result is the first demo that showcases real-time neural video decoding on a mobile device. Here is an overview of our approach, where we focus on intraframe or iframe neural video decoding. Given a state-of-the-art intraframe compression network, step one applies decoder architecture refinement that prunes channels and optimizes network operations to reduce computational complexity based on the hardware capabilities. In step two, we develop a fast parallel entropy coding algorithm that can exploit both data level and thread level parallelism. This allows us to achieve much higher entropy coding throughput. In step three, the refined model's weights and activations are quantized to eight bits, followed by quantization aware training to recover the incurred loss in rate distortion. We use Qualcomm Innovation Center's Open Source AI Model Efficiency Toolkit, or AMET, for that purpose. The result is an 8-bit model with very efficient decoding. Here is the setup of our demo. We take a 1280 by 704 video as input and generate the compressed bitstream by running the encoder network and entropy encoding offline. The compressed bitstream is consumed by the parallel entropy decoding and decoder network running on a mobile device powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 platform. Specifically, the parallel entropy decoding runs on CPU and the decoder network is accelerated on the sixth generation of Qualcomm AI engine. The result is a neural decoding algorithm that runs over 30 frames per second. Now let us take a closer look at what is running on this commercial phone powered by the latest generation Snapdragon processor. At the center is the video decoded and displayed in real time. The decoded video resolution is 1280 by 704, which is very close to HD 720p. The corresponding video sequence was recorded at 25 frames per second. The running number at the right upper corner is showing the decoding speed in terms of frames per second, or FPS. The loop count shows how many iterations are completed for the same input stream. The running average bitrate and bits per pixel are displayed on the right. For this demo, video encoding parameters were set to high quality, and a sequence of nature scenes was chosen for a wide variety of challenging and detailed textures. A close look shows that the rich visual structures in those textures are accurately preserved by the neural network based coding process, resulting in excellent scene reproduction. The bitrate shown in megabits per second is typical for the all intra configuration and for the chosen quality, 
and it demonstrates that the software decoder can support the data throughput needed for high quality video streaming. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for future work on inner frame decoding running real time on a mobile device.